We're now going to do a rotational movement. So bending your left leg. That's it. Martin's going to do a straightforward movement for those of you who don't have enough rotation. Mel and Holly will be the, doing the rotational movement. So take both arms up into the air, as tall as you can. The girls are going to keep their hands up. Martin, if you take your hands down your back, that's it, between the shoulder blades, and curl in just straight down, making sure that the nose comes straight down the inside of the thigh. The girls are going to turn towards the bent knee. Take a breath in, don't move, breathe out and reach over. Grab the foot and place the top hand behind the head between the shoulders. Hold the position, take a breath in. Breathe out, lengthen through the crown of the head. In Mel's position here, what we're going to do, because she is quite fle flexible, we're going to place this hand on this knee and this hand on your foot. That's it, take a breath in, breathe out, use the bottom hand to corkscrew around and the top hand to lengthen out. Similar to a human pretzel, isn't it? Keep the beeline in as much as you can and deep breath out as you lengthen through the crown of the head. Deep breath in and remember you want to hear yourself breathing. Bend the bottom elbow to let yourself come down. Once again, try not to stretch a stretched muscle because it will only fight you back. Take a breath in, breathe out and flop, just flop and notice the difference. You actually do gain more stretch. Keep the beeline in, one more breath out, stretch both hands in line with the bottom leg, breathe out to come up to the center, turn and relax and change legs. Well done, Martin is working quite well independently here by himself. Once again, take both arms up into the air, hands down the back, Martin, and away you go. The girls will turn, reach over, grab the foot, Mel, if you can get your hand positions, that's it. Take a breath in, breathe out and lengthen through the crown of the head and corkscrew around. When corkscrewing the torso, always turn from the rib cage. Try not to use the shoulders because that may strain the back. Breathing in into the armpits and breathe out and corkscrew and lengthen through the crown of the head as well. Great, keep pressing through the bottom of the heel so you can get a stretch all the way up the hamstring. If you need to bend the knee, that's fine to do so. And once more, just flop down, flop down. There you go.